switch into the Damascus experience in one, two. You look good, as always. <laughs> How are you doing? Sufficient for this moment. I want to say that becoming a Christian my way hasn't been easy. But through it all, the glory, the honor, and praise is all given to the Lord God Almighty, who in his own infinite wisdom made it possible that through the hard way, I can also become a child of God. That today, if heaven opens, I will be called one to be a part of his kingdom. And my story is very simple. I remember on the 10th, on the 10th of February, in the morning, I had just woken up on my way to TV Africa for an interview. And I called a friend to escort me. He came along and then immediately we picked the taxi heading to TV Africa. A friend of mine received a call and then the guy he, he spoke to us told him that he, he his money is ready so if he can come he can pick it up anytime and then unfortunately or for, fortunately for him and unfortunately for me the guy lives very close to my area so then why don't we just he asked that we should pass there he picks up the money then we continue with the journey since he's still on the same lane and then it was not knowing it was a setup for the police to actually arrest him. So suddenly we, are, we, we got there and then there were gunshots all over and then they arrested all of us and drove us straight from Accra all the way to Tema Regional Police Station. And then there began the problem. But when we got there, they tried, the guys, they were like, I am innocent, so they should let me go. They were only escorting me and you know, so they should be the ultimate. They agreed that I was innocent, so, but the people still didn't let me go. And then they took us to court the, the next day. It was a Saturday, so on Monday they took us to court. And then the judge was like, this case is, 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 a, is a, a first degree felony case. So the court was too small to handle that case. So they should take us to a bigger court. Meanwhile, we should be remanded in prison custody so when on that Monday when I was supposed to return back to Nigeria to continue with the West African Idol contest which I was a part of I was I was taken right from Saturday morning to Monday morning my life has changed from my route to stardom straight into his own prison and there I spent 10 good years and that was my way to Damascus. And there, before Paul met Jesus, he was still in the world. He was on a mission, going to destroy the people of God. Before I, I got into the prison, I was on my way to stardom. And I was rising so fast, but on the wrong lane because Jesus needed me to preach his word through the very voice he had given me which I was so in haste to go the other way you know fleshy desires and then to sing for the world and win souls into the devil's camp and that was not what God needed me to do just like in the situation of Paul he was he was seriously destroying the people of God those who were preaching the word of God he was destroying them and I was in, in my own way destroying the people who I could use the same voice to save. I was rather pulling them. If you come to places like Cardiff, Champs, um, Bar Stop, every karaoke pub, it was Ramsey. Everywhere there is, there, there, you want to hear some sweet voice that we can use to glorify God. The other way, you, you will find me. And that was not what God actually wanted me for. So he allowed that, that temptation, which he foreknew that I could bear. Because the word of God made me know that there's no temptation that surpasses you that the Lord will bring forth on you. But in every situation, he will make a way. And I had to go through 10 years of my life in prison. 
the wildest prison in the whole Ghana is our mm. prison, for that matter. I spent 10 good years, mm. but the Lord sustained me. So that is how you encountered the man Jesus? That was how I encountered him when things got really worse. Okay. You know? When things got when worse things in, got that really in that situation. that situation. Okay. I went to that situation. It was worse already. Mm. It was hell already. But inside that hell, inside things the hell, got really worse. Worse and that's how... You know, like, like the situation of Joseph. Yes. He, he was placed in a pit. Mm -hmm. It was worse. Mm -hmm. But things got really worse. Now he was play, he, he When he moved out of the pit and thought, okay, now I'm, I'm enjoying some air, yeah. suddenly he was snatched into prison and he spent so many years okay. there. So things got really worse. Worse and in that there. Is, that, that is what my great. situation actually great. was. Great, great. It's getting interesting. So I have here Ramsey. Ramsey, you all know Ramsey, right? Yes, our own celebrity, Ramsey, Stars of the Future fame, who got himself with the law, unfortunately, at the wrong place, and, you know, the law got him, and he was thrown into prison. We're just about to discuss, you know, the nitty-gritties of the event, and a different twist to the whole story that maybe you haven't heard. This evening, we're going to be discussing that. What are we doing? We are doing this in a bit to strengthen you, on this Christian journey that if you feel that Christ has left you my brother your story be like uh, you know Anto Ramsey is going to take you through this story just to strengthen your faith in Christ on this Christian journey so we can all better prepare ourselves for the second coming of Christ so if you've tu just tuned in this is Hit 103.9 FM and this is Gospel my name is Frankie Five I'm here with Ramsey on the Damascus Experience segment Ramsey so now, your story has been told over and over. This evening, what I would want us to actually touch on is the prison experience. Okay? We, we heard you are at a wrong place at the wrong time. At the wrong time. That's right. And people chastised you in spite of the fact that you were innocent. You were thrown into prison. We want to talk about the prison experience. That is where, from your statement, made you meet that man, Jesus Christ. That's that right. you went into a worse situation in there. So we want to talk a little bit about that. And then we'll come out. And we'll talk about what brought you out. And after you came out, what has Christ made you? Very well. I'm sure you followed it. So yeah. let, let, let's move on now. So, so f right from when you were, you know, accused of that and you were picked up by the police, where were you picked up? At, in, a, in a cry here, Tessan. In your house? Not just in my in, neighborhood. Just where the event happened. Exactly. Right? In your neighborhood. Yeah. And you were picked up together with the gentleman. With the gentleman. Okay, so straight from there, where did they take you they to? They us straight to Tema, regional police station. Why Tema? Because the, the issue the been issue that happened, the issue itself, the item which was stolen, was stolen from Tema. From Tema. That's right. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And it ended up in Tesano. And it ended up so, in Tesano. So they followed it for so right from Tema, from Tema to Tesano. To Tesano. Yeah. Okay. Right. So when they picked you to Tema, it was in a police custody or police cells or something. Tema Regional Police Station. Okay. So you were kept in the cells for how long? For a few days, it was that Saturday, it yeah. happened around 10 o'clock. Mm. So from 10 o'clock, the, the whole of the Saturday I was there, and then the Sunday. Then on the Monday morning, they took us to court. And then from that day, to someone place. That fast? That fast. Everything happened wow. so quick. Wow! <laughs> and you say you were just about traveling to the West African um, yeah, idol. Yeah, I had already contested, and I had qualified to be a part of the final 12 out of 30,000 contestants. Mm. In yeah, West Africa. In West Africa. And you are representing Ghana for I that was matter. Representing Ghana. So we had gotten to the stage where we needed votes. So we were allowed to come and spend three days. So I was supposed to go back on the Monday. That Monday when I was in the court. So I told them that I, I am a Ghanaian plus I have not committed a crime. The people are, are testifying that I am innocent. So let me go I'm, and this is what I'm doing. I'm representing Ghana, so let me go and do it. When I come back, whatever you want to talk about, we can do it. But they said, no way. They have to take you out. <laughs> okay, so you ended up in prison. 
tell us about the life there and what got it worse in there for you to meet Jesus. Thank you very much. Hmm. Life in prison is just like hell on earth. And I would, I would never pray for my worst enemy to go through that experience that I went through. Because I am so sure that you would not make it. Because right there in prison, I saw so many heroes fall. People died. The minds of people who were, who, who were really not evil changed. Some of them gained their freedom anyway, only to come and die again outside, or only to go back into the same crime, or into worse crimes that, that led them back into the prisons again, or that, that got them killed. Mm. So that place, it can make you or break you. Because actually you are, you are taken there with the motive of reforming you, reintegrating you and bringing you back into society mm. to become a better person. That's the essence. But, but unfortunately, the opposite. in there, there is nothing there to reform you. Or correct you. Or correct you. And there is no officer coming to harass you or... The place itself is enough to torment you. Mm. Because, one, your freedom is taken from you. You are aware, you, you mentally are aware that your freedom has been snatched. The time you want to sleep, you don't get to sleep that time. The kind of food you want to eat, you don't get to eat. The things you want to do, you cannot do. Everything is controlled. How do you feel as a person that all of a sudden you saw, you saw, you saw a breakthrough just at the verge of it and everything have to just come crashing down? That, In there, what was going through your mind that was on that my Monday? My heart was so broken. Mm. You know? Put the Bible aside, put the word of God aside. Let's talk physical. Let's talk facts. Charlie, one, I am I am not a bad guy. I am not I I was in the world, you know, I was enjoying. Star Domina Banner means me enjoy it. I was not thinking of Christ or anything plus but I am not an evil person. I don't do bad things. I'm not a criminal. I don't steal. I can't do that. I come from a very good home. At least my father was well to do, could take care of me and my sister, at least. So there was no way I could go and do something like that. Plus, I'm a public figure, so how can somebody like me go to steal? Or how can you accuse me for, for stuff like that? But I realized that God had an ulterior motive. God had a plan. So that when something like this happened, he allowed that mm. I become a victim. Mm. One. I did not need to have gone through that, but God had a plan, mm. you know. God didn't need to put Jonah into the belly of the whale and then into the deepest part of the sea just for Jonah to, have, to do what he, the Lord, has assigned of him. Mm. But if that is what has to happen for him to be obedient, God does not need to explain himself or give reasons why he wants to do what, when and how, with whom mm. he wants to use. Mm. So he made... He does all he wants, the way he wants it. Okay. As long as at the end, the glory will be given to him. Mm. As long as at the end, the beauty mm. of, of, of what you, you went through bitterly yeah. will glitter and show forth. Okay. Okay. So, God made it possible that mm. I go through that, that, that prison mm. for 10 years, okay. even though I... I was not willing to, because okay. I knew I was innocent and I didn't have to go through. Even the judge who jailed me said, his name is Peter Day of Faith, he said, I don't see anything wrong with this boy. But eventually, he, he jailed me. He said, I, I, he, he doesn't see, he, for him to say that means that I was supposed to be freed. But he jailed me anyway. Mm. 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 So initially, I mean, without without having to trust in God, Charlie, mm. it was not easy. It I, was not I, easy. I, I couldn't take that it at all, knowing that, yes. man, on the verge of my breakthrough, because, mm. Charlie, mm. Mm. West African Idol, you were taking a hundred thousand dollar a range and then a record contract with Sony Records in UK. And I knew I was going to get it. Why? Because I had gone through the nurturing process with Stars of the Future and a few other karaoke stuff I've been doing around town. So that confidence to sing, the boldness, the art, mm. the performing, everything, I knew I had it. And the people I was going to contest with, they were not really that mature. Yeah, so you I knew, knew I was going you to were going to get, get it, man. So, so before that, 
the idol, the, those organizers, just before um, the so issue. So on Monday they were waiting yeah. for me at the airport uh -huh. to just come. Tell us about my that. my ticket and everything. Yes. And only to be told that the coordinator to tell them that I have been arrested for robbery. So they they just have to fix somebody else. So after they get the final tour, they, they put about three people on standby for just in case if anything has happened. So the people who were the last to be evicted, hmm. they just selected one of them. Automatically they have to go. And, to, and then that right. was it. Wow. That was it. So in there, you were sentenced for how many I years? I was sentenced for 10 years. For 10 years? Yes. And for that 10 years, what got worse in there? When you're sentenced to 10 years, you're supposed to serve a two-thirds of the sentence. Yes, and so that's roughly about, about six, six, years, six eight months. Okay. Yes. So after we were done with about three years, then I filed the appeal for the mitigation, for the reduction, or at least they should mm -hmm. let me go because I was I'm innocent. Mm -hmm. Plus, yes. Um, plus, even if I am not innocent, I'm. This is I'm a first offender. Of, it's, you know. This is my first time I've been I've been to something like that, so they should pardon me. When I got to the court with my family, mm -hmm. the, the 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 case itself, the appeal I filed itself took another three years, four months. The appeal I filed, you filed, took another, took three, another three years, years before the judgment. Wow, how is that? That is how slow our, our jurisdiction runs. So it took another three years, four months, and which means I was only left with four months, four to, months come to come out. Then the judgment came. Oh Lord! So I got to the court, and the judge was like, he even thinks the first judge made a mistake with the initial sentence he gave me. So now he has set aside the initial ten years and has given me a fresh twenty years to go and start. Are you kidding me? So. Just at the end of the appeal, when the judge have to come in and pick on your appeal case and release you, he yes. says that he feels that you should go for another 20, another years. 20 years. When you had actually finished serving your term. The term. What could be happening? What, what could have gone wrong? It is God we should ask this thing. Because I was confused. I was like, is it for real? You can ask, at least if you, if you are not ready to let me go. Just say, I'm not Just I leave the old thing and let, thing and let it run. Sentence. Yes. But for you to now set that aside and give me a 20 year sentence to start, you, are, you, you might as well have killed me because right there my mom fell and got stroke stricken. Right there. Oh, God. And so the situation is. Charlie, if I say things got worse and worse, you should understand. And in there in prison, it is not easy. It is not easy. So they took you back. So they took me back to in Sawam, the same back place. To in and then after four months, the people, the real perpetrators of the crime in question, all discharged because they were all having a ten-year sentence. Oh, so their time were over. Yes, and they, and left. they left. And, and you, the me. innocent one, you were back I, into I, the prison yes, and I, I stayed there to serve another twenty, 20 years. years. Did you expect any foul play? Did you think of anything going wrong? Anybody Never. manipulating with the system or something? I just, I, I can't think far, <laughs> you know, it's amazing, but it was after that moment that the will of God and his reasons for having me go through prison actually materialized. Okay, so fast forward, we went back to prison to serve the rest of that 20 you've been giving, yes. and in prison Take us through that, that journey that started the first year of the 20 years. What happened? The first week of the 20 years, the first week, right after I had been sentenced and I enhanced and I, I went into this, into, back into the cells. Then that same week, my sister, my other sister came to visit. Mm -hmm. So when he got there, out of confusion, so why basa? So they didn't, they didn't even, they didn't even want her to come in because the the, pe the person you are coming to visit is in pain. So if you are also bringing tears in, you are coming to worsen worse the situation. So she tried to comfort herself, and then they allowed her to come in. So the few items she brought, she wanted to also give me some few money, some small money. I think twenty Ghana cents. 
and then she didn't know how so she placed the money in the the item box bag mm. and then she left and then the, an officer saw it and picked took the money so later on i realized that no there's the money is not in so it, it became a, a banter between a, you yeah and the officer and then when she i, I asked her the officer was like trying to shout on my sister you know pushing her like she's the prisoner oh why do, why do you have to do that you don't you know it's a contraband this and that and that you know trying to molest my sister i was like no way you cannot do that do you know where she's coming from do you know her i mean is that lawful you will only let her know that no we don't do this we do it. i mean do it like this do it like that. but if she doesn't know and you are no way no way you can't do that so like i raised my voice a bit and then they allowed my sister to go and then i went to, i went back into the dungeon i was there some few minutes i knew they would come so now they went to mobilize themselves full squad the officers full squad senior senior officers two two stars and then they came and then they, they picked me up so imagine i was in the prison After my sentence has just been enhanced imagine that boom me and me, I, I almost gave a ghost i wanted to kill myself over me that'd be the term we use in there uh, over me so I, I was there and then they came and picked me up What's my offense? You, I was, I was shouting on senior, senior officers, eh? and they took me. Oh, they will be any hard. Yeah, cool, cry, nothing will happen. <laughs> then they took me. Imagine, oh, the prison itself is a lockup, lockup, and then they took me to special lockup. And if we say special lockup, that is where you find the the mad people, the uh, elephantiasis, mm. epileptic, th those people. I mean, their room. That was where I slept, and I slept there for a week. That was when my sentence has been enhanced, no. But God was giving me a testimony. Do you know that I spent 10 years in prison and I never got sick, even though I had to sleep. And you know, we sleep like sardine because we are many. You know, we are many. We are about five times the, 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 the number of... Occupants of maxim yeah, in maximum. that room. Exactly. So in a room where we are supposed to be like 10, we are about 50. So we sleep like sardine, so one head here, one leg there, one head here, one leg there. So imagine when I, when I was locked up, I was lying right beside the ele uh, elephantiasis. And this leg, this man's legs were bleeding and in blood. And I slept with him one good week with that already messed up mentality that I have gone... I knew I was I was supposed to be home in the next few months and then my sentence has been enhanced to 20 years and then now in that mood I have now been placed in the worst part in the worst part the of the prison and I, I stayed there and I wept and asked God why what did I do wrong what at all did I do wrong I can't also blame my friend who who through whom I, I, I came to prison because he, he didn't also know so how can I blame him and plus God can use anybody to bring about whatever at a time knowing that the end would justify them I mean the end all glory will be given to him things will be beautiful and fruitful at the end eventually but I didn't see that coming because I, I saw people die I saw people die. Exopa died. Kudus died. I mean, the people you think that these people are, these men are strong. At least they are okay before they came to prison. So they can be eating. The, the, they can send for good foods, visits to come, and all that. Charlie, but it is not by might nor by power. It is the spirit of God. So af after all my 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 case partners, so to speak, had left, discharged, and I was all alone. Now seven, the twenty-year term, mm. Mm. and at the point I wanted to kill myself because my mom had, my mom was so angry, she and my mom is somebody who really believes in God, you know. So it's like, where is the God we trust in? Mm. He better renew our uh, renew our faith in Him, because. This is the, 
the evidence this there should be an evidence that the one we pray to and mm. we trust in mm -hmm. is doing something for us but if we are not seeing anything like that then what is happening but he had a plan and it was materializing in time and you can't push god you know when when the gold is in, is in the fire you don't force it out it has to melt when it melts the the the, sh the chaff the dirty this everything will come out and then you see the beauty of the gold mm -hmm. and that was what was happening so after my friends left mm -hmm. not too long after then the president visited the prisons president which president the the, the, the former president mahama okay he visited the prisons mm -hmm. and that's the first time a president ever visited prison in ghana really and it was in my era and I happened to be the the inmate lead choir, the, the choir leader. You know, I formed the choir, I formed the choir there. Charlie, there are two things. It's either you sit and plan of the next evil you want to do if freedom comes, or you embrace God and let him comfort your spirit. So just so that if you unfortunately happen to die there, you don't go through this hell and then go through the other hell which is a Wessa hell, you understand. So I, 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 I gave up, I gave up, and I surrendered ev everything to God that, okay, now I give up. I know I may not make it out, but I don't want to go to hell. So he should take my life and let it be consecrated unto him. He should guide my path. At least if he, if he wants me to be a living testimony unto the lives of people who are listening to us right now, yeah. then he should sustain me through this time. He knows I'm innocent. That is enough testimony for me if I don't die. But if he keeps me alive, then I have enough testimony because yes, my situation was similar to Joseph's. If he went, if Joseph went through first 10 years, which was the pit, and then another 20 years, which was the real prison, then that is such is exactly what I have been through. So, Kanyame, he made me go through that time. For 10 years, I never got sick. My Nyari, having to go through all that, I didn't get sick. He sustained me, he strengthened me. Even when I wanted to commit suicide, because I realized that the pain I was causing at home was too much. My mom, you know, now hospital, hospital, every time hospital, you see, one in the view. If they cry for a while, it would rather be better than for them to be crying every time. I mean, imagine, Charlie, 10 years no be easy. 10 years, we have 365 days times 10. And that is what I went through. But God was building me. And when I asked him, listen, God, let's sit down, let's talk like friends. I, 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 what do I need to do? you to give me that freedom what do you need me to do for which reason you have to let me go through this time this trial time and it's been so long otherwise I'm gonna kill myself and he and then the message came to me that know ye not that in the thickest part of your darkness I am your light yeah. know ye not that I am your consoler in your time of trouble don't you trust in me I will make all things beautiful in my time so after then and that was where the song that i have i have i have written came from that was where the inspiration and the message came from and it is that song that i want the world to listen and know that there's a god who can save them no matter the situation they find themselves in i realized after then that the song which the lyrics are in the song which kept and sustained and strengthened me gave me hope and brought me out and placed me where my hearers today are hearing me and listening is exactly the message God gave God gave to me to give to them that message is actually for them way they should listen and be hopeful in him and trust in, in none other but him alone and if he brought me out miracle miraculously and beautifully can you imagine on the last day of 2016 31st December it was a Saturday it was also the end of the year 
it was also the last day of the year, it was the last week of the year. And that was when my freedom came. Suddenly they called Ramsey, get out, we don't, we don't need you here anymore. The president said we should let you go. And, and out of the 4,000 inmates, I was the only person they opened the gate for. And it oh, was a uh, holiday, they don't, they, they don't need to let anybody go. It's a uh, presidency in Jaukra, nah. you have to stay there till working day. Yeah. But it was a holiday, they opened the gate for me to go because the fullness of, of time has come that God would decorate his son. And that was what I, I enjoyed. But see, God has a plan for everybody. He has a plan for everybody. And he, you, you just have to embrace yours when it comes to you. When it hits you, you need to embrace it. He stood strong on his ground and he told himself he will not die. He will wait for the appointed time of Jehovah. And when that time was up, guess who came to take him out? The President of the Republic. You see what he did to Joseph? The same mm -hmm. thing. It was the President of... One question I want to ask you. In all these, I've heard the stories from radio station to radio station, but I've never heard of you mentioning, you know, the name of a lawyer or a barrister who came to your aid. Was it that you did not have access to any lawyer? That's how the case went the way it went? Or what, what was it? There was no mediator for you. you? You were not allowed to pick up a lawyer to, you know, help you? prepare your statements and all those kind of things. Thank you very much. Uh, I had lawyers. Mm -hmm. My first lawyer was Captain Ifadate. Captain Ifadate was your yeah. first lawyer? You know, he's a good lawyer. Very good lawyer? Yes. Experience for that matter? Yes. But he couldn't get me that freedom I needed. And then, when I went, I was going for the appeal, I. My, I made my mom get a new lawyer, his name is Mohammed. Unfortunately, this man only took the money and never appeared in the courts. I never saw him once, not oh, even once. Geez. He no, no, never no. appeared in the court, not once. But he, has a, he had a, a young boy, he's also bringing up, who is also a young lawyer, I think, in his chamber. I think, I've forgotten his name. And he has been sending him to come and pick dates. That was why my, the appeal itself, part of the reasons why it took three years and yes. over before the judgment. Because every time they come, they will adjourn the case. Every time you send, they will come and then take a new date. Just pick a new date till I was almost done with the sentence, which I was going to beg for. What was that for? I don't know. I think it was God's plan to actually keep me there so that he, I will, he will gather and you know refine me enough because I can't blame them. Because other people go to court and they are acquitted and discharged. Other people go to court, their sentences are reduced. They come to the they come back to the yard, jubilate with us, you know, they are happy and then the next few days they are gone. They leave the, the yard. But me alone, I go and then my issue got worse. So who should I should I blame should I blame the, 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 the court the lawyers, the judges? Or should I, who do I blame? Then I had better blame God because, I mean, He can control affairs. Mm. He can, He has the, 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 the lawyer, the judge, everybody in His hands. He, mm. he can manipulate them and make mm. them speak what He wants, wants them, them to say. Yeah. So if they have spoken what they, sp they spoke, then it is God who planned it that way. And truly, eventually, I mean, at the end, we all realize that it is God who actually made it go so. Otherwise, one, I wouldn't have met the president. My my freedom wouldn't have come in a way that mm. would, would amaze the world. The world. That, you know. And then I met so many other great people. The, all the all the ministers, even the chief justice, Georgina Wood, came visited. She sent me items. Like after she left, there are four thousand inmates. Why me? I mean, she sent foodstuffs and items that they should give to me. Oh. You understand? Pe people were touched by my ministry even in prison. Oh. The lives of people were, were changed. People who would have given up if I had not gone to prison, only God knows. So he took me there 
you know. Do, just, do you know that in, in, in the life of Joseph in prison, those two, those two people who were working in the house of Pharaoh, who were also jailed, they could have been taken to a different prison. Yeah. But they were taken where, exactly where, where Joseph, Joseph was. was. Because there would be a dream. And then jo they dreamt a dream. And then it was only Joseph who could translate that dream. And it was because of dream translation, which he had performed with those two, mm -hmm. that when the king had a dream, he was remembered. It was because of the ministry, the music I was singing, the lights I was touching with my songs in there, which led, the, I believe, was part of the reasons why the president said, no, let this boy go. After all, what? If other people can be left to go, what, what at all is my offense? How many mm. people did I kill? Mm. After that, have you met the president to say thank you? He's done so much to meet him, but I've never had the opportunity. Mm. But wherever he is, God bless him. And even our new president, God bless him. So if I'm able to arrange for you to... I'll be so glad to meet him. you. Oh, you would you love to meet him I'll and say really thank you. I would love to meet him to say a big thank you to him. I want okay. to give him a, a big hug. He actually gave me a hug in prison. But I want to return that hug with love. I'm praying I'll be able to arrange at least for you to meet him yeah, and you know really say a big that. thank you really to him that. and for allowing himself for God to use him to bring you out. Even the wife came. I danced with her. She hugged me. Uh -huh. You know, she she was so much in love. And I told her that I've spoken to Daddy, so she should tell Daddy that I'm I'm looking up to him that God will touch his heart. And lo and behold, the word. Well, before you leave, stop shedding tears. That's why I told you to sit back. You say you sit here, now you are shedding tears. Eh? I'm, I'm well informed by a close relation of yours that your uncle was involved um, in one of the, as being part of one of the lawyers who were supposed to come rescue you and things didn't go the way it is. Really Can you confirm that? Well, it is true. And I really wouldn't want us to go there. It was one thing. Uh, discussion plus I've come here to let the world know that there is a God that when enemies plan and plot whatever he can turn things around he's a one-time God when he wants you it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter who and who and who come together to plot to make things worse in your life he can just snatch you at the time with the snap of his finger so and that was what he did that was exactly what he did when he needed me mm -hmm. even the man in question you're asking me about mm -hmm. said over his dead body would i gain my freedom so where so is he now it's like he's dead because i had to oh, pray at the time him. yes i was in prison and he said that he's After dead he dies i will not come out and i said eh, so shall it be and, I prayed. and he's he dead died. yes ramsey okay. and he died and then okay. i got my freedom you need to write a book that is what we are writing. So we are writing it. You better pick your pen and your paper and make sure that you are spinning it. God is an awesome God. See? God is an awesome God. Wow. Now, music. And this song says, Yes. I thank God for the mountains. And I thank God for the valleys. And I thank Him for the trials He brought me through for if I haven't had these problems I wouldn't know my God could solve them and I wouldn't know what faith in God can do so through it all through it all I've learned to trust in Jesus and I learned to trust in God and through it all through it all I've learned to depend upon His Word Oh, awesome. Thank you for touching people's heart for me, Ramsey. I trust that the hearts of people are touched. Thank you so much for touching people's heart tonight. Oh, and I'm sure somebody was listening to you 
and has opted to take poison. But I believe by the blood of Jesus, the person Please would, don't have, do it. would have just stopped it. There's a God who can turn your situation around. He has Amen. done it for me. Look at me. I'm a living testimony. Amen. Get on Facebook. You see that I'm looking good. Because this is what God has purposed way back Amen. 10 years ago. Mm. Because I wanted it to be a dream. Great. And a dream is what it has become. You can look at I've him. I've risen up on from Facebook. my dream. Yes. And how I want life to go. Yes. That is what God is, is decorating me with. Mm. And mm. I wish that you would begin to trust that whatever situation you are going through right now, mm. there is an omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God who is more than able to do exceedingly, abundantly above your thoughts and imaginations. Mm. And that is what He has done for me. Mm. And He will do it for you. Amen. Trust and honor Him. Amen. He's more than able. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Music, here and beyond. What should we expect from you? Now that God has brought you back to us, what should we expect from Ramsey? Right now, Thank you very much. Right now, I am more like a clay in the potter's hand. Mm -hmm. And if he had molded me and filled me up, then he should direct me the path to take. Mm -hmm. I am in his hands. Mm -hmm. Where he sends, I'll go. You go. Whatever he places in me to give to people, mm -hmm. I'm not seeing. If I want to sing for money, mm -hmm. then I'd better go back to my circular. Because, yes, I, I was doing well. Mm -hmm. At least I was one of the best R&B musicians in Ghana then. then. So, if that is what I want, why don't I go back to it? No, I don't want money. Mm. I want the hearts of people to be touched. I want the world to know that we have the God. Mm. His son is Jesus. He is coming soon. Mm. Embrace him. Mm. Otherwise, you would live in a big regret. Great. You won't even have the chance to say you regret because you would be in fire. Yeah. There's a, if I have been through the fire on that, mm. there is a, a wilder, a, 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 a much bigger fire, you know, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were placed in fire. In fire. It was, it was double, seven times, it mm. was, the it, furnace were the overheated, were overheated. Mm. If, if on earth, the, it, a furnace could be overheated to seven times, mm. then imagine how hell They're ready. <laughs> Jesus is coming, yes, yes, Jesus is coming soon, Jesus is coming soon, and he will not be silent. Embrace him now, Ramsey says so. All right, Ramsey. So um, we we got a call from yeah. So you royalty, asked music, yeah, royalty yeah, music, you know, to to put you here. So we want to ask. I mean, what is in it for you, music here and after? Yes. You and royalty music. In right? the first place, I want to say God bless the royalty team. Yeah. Oh, in my mercy, Isaac Trim and Puff for the husband. It's also a musician. They could have, uh, they could push her with whatever they have, but they decided to spend their time, their finances, their money, everything, to make sure that whatever is in me, that the Lord wants his people to hear, they would help push. And that is what they have done. And today, we hear Asunjay. Asunjay is a message from God, pushed by the royalty team. Okay. And God richly bless them. Bless them wherever they are. Ramsey, if we want to follow you, a lot of people are inspired by your testimony. They want to follow your works. They want to follow how God is taking you step by step. Where can they find you on social media? How? Uh, I'm everywhere. I'm on Facebook. My name is Ramsey Wolamamui. On Facebook, you go on Instagram, the same. You'll find me there. On Twitter, wherever you go, I'm, my name is the same. Ramsey Wolamamui. And uh, you'll find me there. Let's get in touch. Let's propagate the word. Let the world hear that there is a God who has, who has a mighty hand to save. His hands are not too short to reach you from whichever trial you are going through, as long as you trust in Him. Mm. And uh, I also want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to a few people. Go on. My family, my Go mom, mm. my brother and sisters. Mm. And they've been very supportive over the years. Mm. They kept me alive at least. They brought me food to eat. If they can't do anything, they brought me food to eat. And that sustained me. They supported me in every way, encouraged me by word mm. and everything. And I also want to say a big thank you that coming out eventually, okay, my second thanks go to the, the ex-president Mahama and the wife for giving me that freedom which I so much desire, for allowing God to use them to bring out this testimony which is in me. Mm. Because if they had not given me that freedom, I would still have been there. Mm. I'm supposed to be coming out in the next 10 years, I think. Hey, now come in. Let's say my boy could create you. But, and yes, I mean, that was not God's plan. That's not God's plan. Yes. God yes. had a better plan. Yeah. 
So I thank them coming out. Somebody, um, a man called Mr. Desmond, mm -hmm. he has also really supported me. Mm -hmm. He, I had an interview here, right here, with um, Andy Dosti and Namanda GC. Amanda, okay. And then right there, he called the line, and he was like, "Pick my number and call me anytime you need anything." And I called him, and he gave me a lot of money. Wow. To go to studio to record, record. And everything, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And God richly bless him. And the royalty crew. Mm -hmm. Mm. Felicia, solid team, Felicia and, and Cole. Mm. And Cole, mm. oh, Himan Mercy, mm. as a Chiman Pofo, mm. and Felix, mm. yeah, mm. Choo Choo, mm. all of them, God richly blessed them for putting this sweet piece together. Mm. And Kewa, mm. that mighty finger, highly spiritual. He touched, <laughs> highly spiritual. He touched your son and then it goes, mm. it's gone. Yeah, back then, by the spirit. And then back by the spirit, you know. Mm. And God richly bless him. All right. And God bless everyone who in any way supported me through prayer mm. and finance. Okay. But my arms are opened for help. You know, I mean, I need to let the people, the world hear. There are people in prison suffering right now. I need to go visit them. Mm. If you want to help me to be a blessing unto the lives of those people in there, mm. we'll put our number across. Go ahead. You just call. Go ahead. Pleasure. Be How can we get it uh, through to you before at Royalty? Okay, you can call us on 054 31 40589. Go ahead. 054 31 40 589. But I also have another number here. It is 024 435 4999. So say that number again, the last one. Okay, zero two four three five four nine nine nine. Nice one, nice one. So Ramsey, thank you for passing through. God bless. Thank you for being a blessing to my team and my listeners this evening. And thank you for the platform. Any day. Make sure every five minutes you will play that song. This is your home. <laughs> We're going to make this song, put it on repeat. I'm singing it. I'm on saying that we have this is the song. As we read, there's so much peace of mind in this music that we cannot just let it go. We'll hear it each and every day. Oh, bless so you. thank you very much. Oh, you nice. Nice. Our regards to everybody at Royalty Music. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 All right, folks. Mm. So finally, we've come to the end of the discussion. And let's take it from here. From tomorrow, let's keep discussing it. What ways, what can we do to enrich the lives of people? down there, who are living in those hell, down there, let's stretch a helping hand to these people. That is what Christ has commissioned us to do. Right. And Ramsey, this is a beautiful track. Let's all support it. When you support this track, you are supporting his mission and his project. And it all boils down to preparing people for the second coming of Christ. Thank you for being a true listener of the TIG show. I'm grateful, myself and my team, Derek. Mario B, Gabi, and everybody, thank you so much for listening to us. My name is Frankie Five, and I leave you in the hands of Ramsey again, Asundri. But I wish you all the best for this week. Please, when you stop to say a prayer, say one for me. Have a beautiful week and a good night. Asundri.